Find out what's growing on with Plant Daddy Ashley. Welcome back to Local 3 News. Joining us in the studio is Plant Daddy Ashley for our monthly check-in. Hello, yes. how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm a little warm, but right. doing well. How about you? I am doing great. <laughs> yes, yesterday was pretty hot, but I'm, I'm better today. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it was hard to fall asleep last night, but what are you going to do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of the weather, we're talking about summer tips for plants. Yes. And so what do people need to know about taking their care of their plants this time of year? Yeah, so it's like, it's a fun time for plants because they, it's their growth period, they're out of dormancy. So there's just a couple things we want to look at. Um, the first one is it's a good time to repot. Um, People say not to like repot during the winter, so summertime comes and everyone's like yeah. digging in their pots, buying new ones. So that's exciting to check the roots, make sure the you know the growth is good, um, and then you can trim some up so you can share. Also, watering. Um, just because it's a little warmer and it's more sunny, you want to make sure that if they're getting the water they need. So maybe a little bit more water. Um, you know just adjust the times, the schedule for that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And then temperatures, if it gets hot, you don't want like, you know, one more fragile to be getting burnt by the sun. Right. Mm -hmm. So you might want to want to move it to like a little bit more shady. Mm -hmm. um, humidity, once it gets dry, you don't want the leaves to turn crispy. So yeah, humidity, humidifiers, you know, also switching places for that. Um, and then, like I said, before the sun exposure. You just want to make sure they don't get crispy, um, but succulents love sun, so I like to put my succulents and cacti outside. Yes. Yes. And so, you know, how do you start noticing that they're brand, like the tips like a little brown? Yeah, or? so they'll curl and then they'll get brown and they just look all around sad mm -hmm. and you feel bad for them. Mm -hmm. So, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so when that starts happening, I mean, that's not the end of the plant. You, you no. know, you can still, you can still fix things. Absolutely. Okay. And if there's like brown parts to the leaf, I mean, you can leave it there or you can just cut it right off. Um, there's no you know, right or wrong thing to do. Gotcha, and so what are these plants that we have here today? Yeah, so this one is a lipstick plant. It's so cool. Yes, it's, it's got a very unique pattern. Yeah, and it's a little bit like hardier. Um, and this one likes sun more than the pearls and jade would. Okay. Um, so this one would be like indirect sunlight, but this one could be in more direct. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And so, you know, it's always, you always have events going on and you have a couple more um, times this month where you'll be at the Ishpeming Farmer's Market, yeah. correct? Yeah, it's so fun. So the Ishpeming Farmer's Market is every Sunday from 11 to 2 and I'll have um, always a free plant exchange so you can bring plants, plenty items, seeds, or you can... Um, Buy plants from me or my planty jewelry. Excellent, yes. I really like this lipstick <laughs> one. This, that is such a fun pattern. Yes. So, thank you so much for coming in once again yes. and giving us your plant wisdom. Yes. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yes, and we'll be right back with more Local 3 News.